Hey guys, welcome back to North Country Off Grid. Today's the day. This is the video I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for. I have been super excited about it as well. Today is the return of the Boomerang Box. Guys, this thing was not this big when I sent it out. It's gotten a lot bigger, and it's not just stuff that I'm getting. It is a bunch of stuff that you guys are getting. There's a lot of goodies in here that all the other channels sent you guys. Very, very cool. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, so before we get started, I do want to thank Mr. Zeke. I do want to thank D-Wing, and I do want to thank Craig over at You Can Do It for... Uh, taking the chance on me and doing this with me. Uh, it's proved to be a ton of fun for me. I loved watching you guys open your stuff. Um, I know our viewers have loved watching it as well. Many of you, Keith, I know you have, uh, don't care about what any of my other videos are. You just talk to me about the boomerang box and that's cool with me because I'm excited about it just as much as you are. So uh, very cool. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this thing. So we're gonna get into it guys. Uh, first thing is first, we are going to be using our custom-made Idaho hillbilly knife. All right, so let's get going. All right, no information on that side. We'll get rid of this box. Oh, I gotta flip it over. It says, open the other side. I think Craig's new puppy was chewing on the box. Is that what this is, Craig? Did your dog chew on our boomerang box? Was your dog chewing on our silver? Okay, so here we go. We're getting into this thing. <laughs> Craig said he's. <laughs> Craig said he sent me a special little something, something. Said to open it up and check it out. And uh, this is hilarious. I'm I'm scared to grab it. It is, it's glued in there as well. I'm scared to touch it. It looks like he glued it shut, but I'm afraid this thing's going to go off. That is so funny. Let's see if we can cut it loose. It looks like he hot caught. I don't want to get got. Guys, I'm going to show you this real quick. He's got a he's got an Indian head nickel on a mouse trap sitting inside the box and it looks to me like everything is glued down like it can't possibly come loose but I don't want to get got <laughs> so we're gonna cut it loose look at that guys I've never seen one of these before Craig did you make this thing or what that is awesome that's a great way to give out some silver. You can make them earn it. I like it. That is funny. All right. Let's see here. We got all sorts of stuff. Guys, I don't know what that is. Oh, I do know what that is. That is... I'll show you that. That's from Craig. And in this box, we've got sub appreciation item we've got items for north country that's me and and i believe i believe those are from d-wing i believe we're gonna have to get into it to open it up and figure it out this says oh a little something for the kids cool my kids got something i don't know who this is from i think it's from craig it's all right okay this one says, Boomerang Box Items, YCDI. I have no idea what the heck that means. What is that, guys? And then, let's see, another little thing for North Country Off Grid. Okay. All right, and I think that that is it. Looks like Craig just styrofoam this box to death I like it everything got here safe that is cool all right so we'll put that down that's for the kids and then we will get into it here we'll show you guys what you're getting 
We'll show you guys what I traded. And if you're new to this, uh, guys, the idea, the whole premise behind it was that I sent out a box of silver, different silver items and gold actually as well. I sent out, oh, you can do it. Haha, <laughs> it popped. Um, I sent out gold and silver items to these three different channels. They in, in turn, they grabbed something out that they wanted. They traded me, put something else in um, that they thought that I would like and then on to the next guy, so on and so forth. But each of these channels as well added stuff for you guys. Now Craig started it out and said, hey, I want to I want to give you guys something for, for your viewers for doing this box. I really appreciate it. So I'm sending you guys a 2018 Britannia. And this thing is so clean, guys. This thing is so cool. So that's Craig's giveaway, guys. That's what somebody is going to win. And now we've got to decide. And I think what I'm going to do is we're going to have more than one winner because there's a lot of stuff here. And we'll go through and show you guys all of it. But there is a lot of stuff here. And so um, we're probably going to break it up and have probably two, maybe three winners. We shall see. All right. So getting into it. All right, this one is from Mr. Zeke. He got us a little note on here. Let me read it, make sure it's YouTube appropriate. All right, so this says, Hey folks, just wanted to send something along for you guys to say thank you for putting this project together. Cheers, your friend, Mr. Zeke. Very cool. So let's see what Mr. Zeke sent us. Comes in a red satchel. Okay, guys, so inside this thing is a one ounce poured round. Now, this round is something that Mr. Zeke pours. And this is his signature Tree of Life stamp. So he pours these guys. Get it real close. You guys should be able to see that pretty good. This is a wide angle lens, unfortunately, but I think if I do that, it should be all up in your face. Right? So, and then it looks on the back, we've got a one ounces Troy 999 fine silver. So that is a nice little one ounce piece of poured silver. This is very cool. So, Mr. Zeke, um, he molds this stuff pours it, molds it. You guys can watch him. If, if you're not familiar with this channel, it means you're not in on this thing. So, uh, But to all you guys that are new or just seeing this, Mr. Zeke's channel, he melts down silver. He pours you custom stuff. You can order from him. Um, you can send him stuff, have him melt it down. Very cool. And he can do all sorts of different sizes. I've seen him pour stuff up to three ounces. I don't know if I've seen him pour anything bigger than that. Um, but lots of big stuff too as well. And bars, all sorts of different shapes. So, Mr. Zeke, thank you, sir. I really appreciate it. This stuff is pretty cool. This is my first piece of poured anything in my silver stack. So, this is new to me. This is great. Uh, it's a great addition to it. So, I, I really appreciate it. It's very cool to get this. This stuff is from D-Wing. Now, the first item up that D-Wing sent you guys is a one-tenth ounce silver mercury dime see there all right there you go now he's upright you guys can see there very cool piece one on the back so there's your second item guys that is for you that will go get divvied up somehow we'll figure it out before the end of this video but i still don't know how i'm going to do it now the second item that you guys were given is some product from Tom's gold dirt guys this has to be the best thing since the pet rock this guy is selling you dirt but I believe he makes sure that there's gold in it which is pretty cool so there is um, there's a there's a, another little thing for you guys to be able to get into is panning for your own gold figure out how you can uh, extract gold out of the ground with this dude might spark a hobby in you and your family hopefully it's something that you guys find joy in that's pretty cool. So thank you, D-Wing. There's D-Wing's contribution, guys. So someone's getting silver. Someone's getting gold. Uh, someone's making out like a bandit. All right, guys. So let's go. Let's go now, and we'll open up um, the package from D-Wing. 
and I'll recap what he what he traded me for the item that he took. And I believe Dewing wound up grabbing a American Eagle um, from the uh, West Point Mint. It was in a little case, a little airtight, real nice little piece. Um, that's something that he wanted, and he seemed pretty excited about it, so that's really cool. Okay, guys, so this is what D-Wing sent along to me. Now, this is very, very cool here. I'll take it out. So, as I've said to you guys in other videos, um, the thing that I like to stack is the absolute generic stuff. I just, I find the most value in that. The cheapest bought silver that's going to be the best for me to make the most amount of money on, I feel, um, when silver rises and we all cash out and we all go buy a boat and live in Florida. So, uh, here it is, guys. This is a 2016 Indian head, one ounce, round. It's got the buffalo on the back. Now I have some of these, and I just showed you guys these um, in our last video that I did. I showed you guys at spot price that I got from these. And so I already have 10 of these, which is great. Now these tubes right here uh, hold, I believe, 20, which means I've got more to get. So this is great. It adds to my stack. It's also the same, so I can continue to get the same kind of coins and have all of those in there. And then I'll have a full stack of um, these Indian head coins, which is pretty cool. So it's great. It's an excellent addition to my stack. This is exactly what I was hoping to get out of this entire box anyway, is this kind of stuff. So uh, very cool. Thank you, D-Wing. All right, guys. Now, D-Wing sent a little something else as well. This is a one ounce Standing Liberty. Uh, I know nothing about this, which is pretty cool. Very cool. Look at that, D-Wing. All right. I'll show you guys that. Hold it so it doesn't slip. There is a one ounce silver Standing Liberty. And you can see her hanging out there. Pun intended. You can see her hanging out there. She's just standing around, hanging, waiting for me to come by and stick her in my stack. And that's exactly what's going to happen, guys. That is a very cool round. Um, it's in this package and it's sealed up and Dewing I gotta ask you man if I take it out of this package and stick it in a tube does it devalue it or am I good to go because I do like to keep my stuff organized I do like to put them in these um, but either way we're gonna keep it but let me know Dewing tell me in the comments man is this thing worth more in a plastic bag or am I okay taking this thing out and just adding it to the pile I think I showed you guys the back but if I didn't there's a nice bird floating around so very cool guys, I am thrilled, that is cool. Naked naked girl on a coin, can't go wrong with that. 1916, very cool. Okay guys, so up next is going to be Mr. Zeke. All right guys, so Mr. Zeke loaded this thing up for you guys. All right guys, so we got this little uh, jeweler's loop, this little uh, monocle for you to help you check out your uh, old stuff, your new stuff, your good stuff. Very cool. That's going to you guys. Okay, now Mr. Zeke started out um, with some, uh, you know, a part of the stack that is very important to him. Uh, and I imagine it's kind of a, uh, a part of stacking that a lot of people sort of got their start in. I imagine, you know, uh, your grandpa kind of showed you your silver coins. I know my grandpa used to show me these, these coins. Um, and I didn't pay attention to it at the time. And I didn't care at the time. And I wish I would have. Now I, I really wish that I would have sat and listened and dug through his collection because I know he would have showed me everything he had. Uh, it really sucks to not have that opportunity to do that now at a time in my life where I do have an appreciation for it. Uh, so if any of you are out there and you're tired of listening to your grandpa talk about his old coins, go sit and talk to him about his old coins. Go listen to him. Go learn something. Uh, go spend time with your grandpa and his old coins. But getting started, we'll go from bottom to top in value anyway. Guys, the first one here that Mr. Zeke sent out for you guys is 1945 Philadelphia. 
wartime silver nickel. You can see there, and I believe these are 90% silver as well. Guys, go and check out his video of this uh, going into the boomerang box because he's going to do a much better job of explaining what it is uh, than I will. Um, I'm going to do my best, but uh, he's a wealth of knowledge, guys, and uh, you should go over there and check that out. So these are five uh, dimes, silver dimes, and I believe these are all going to be 90% uh, silver as well. So one lucky viewer is going to get a bunch of constitutional silver and nickels and dimes so far. And it looks like there's mixed dates in here. You got a 1952, 1964, another 1964. Well, there's some more in there. I'll leave a couple, couple of dates of mystery. You can check them out. Okay, guys. Moving up the scale again, we've got uh, two quarters, uh, two 1964s, 90% silver quarters. And again, Mr. Zeke gives you guys a history of, of why these are silver, the idea behind them. Um, so go over and check that out. Now moving up the ladder, uh, again, these are super cool. Th this is... No, I got to say that I'm not big into constitutional silver. I'm not big into the nickels and the dimes and the quarters. Um, I always check my change. I get my kids to check their change as well, and, and we make it sort of a fun game whenever we get change. Uh, so, so we're definitely looking for it. But it doesn't, it doesn't get my blood going. Uh, but getting into these kinds of coins, these are cool to me. I really like these coins. And we'll start it off with uh, the one that everyone kind of knows, and that's the Kennedy half dollar. Now this is a 1964 Kennedy half dollar, which means it's 90% silver. So this is very cool. You guys are getting old currency and you're getting some silver uh, uh, as well. And these have, um, you know, they have their own value to them as a collector. It's not pure silver but it's 90% silver and it's American history, which is super cool. And you're not gonna find them anymore. These pure silver rounds, you know, they're getting pushed out all the time of different ones and all sorts. But as this stuff starts to disappear, get collected, um, it, goes, it goes away. So get yourself some while you can. Here's a 1944 Walking Liberty half dollar. Now these are very cool. And this one is got some toning. It's a little dirty looking. You can see the age in it. And these are so cool. This is such a cool coin. It's very fun. Now just to now just to think, you know, that someone back in the day might have pulled up to a bar and just slapped one of these on the table and said, I'll take a beer. It's very cool. It's a lot of history in these, and these things get dropped in the dirt, they get lost, you know, people dig them up once in a while. Uh, while they're finding stuff. You know, it's it's a very cool part of our history and it's a very old coin. These are very cool. I do not have any of these in my stack. I own one of these in my stack and I'm pretty sure I overpaid for it because I was trying to, uh, I was just trying to get some stuff under my belt, you know, get it, get it in the closet. Um, and I'm pretty sure I just got a little overzealous and overpaid and then that's fine. It's no big deal. Now this one is pretty cool. Between the Walking Liberty and this one, I'm not sure which one is my favorite. The Walking Liberty is a very, very classy looking coin and I really do like it. Now this one, guys, is the original All About the Benjamins. This is, let's see the date on this. This one's a 1963 Benjamin Franklin half dollar. Now these are very cool. These are so cool. You know, these used to be in someone's pocket, walking around, used as currency, and they're 90% silver. And you just, they're just hard to find. You just don't come across them that much. And I don't have any of these in my stack, but one of you guys is going to be lucky enough to have it in your stack. And that is so cool. What an awesome, awesome opportunity. Again, you guys are just getting hooked up by Mr. Zeke. Um, very cool. So he's got nickel, he's got dimes, he's got quarters, and he's got half dollars. Now to top it off, 
the last little bit of Mr. Zeke's um, gift to you guys is a 1921 Morgan Silver Dollar. Now again, these are just so cool. The history of these things. Show you guys the back there. The detail in these things are just so cool to think you know someone's paycheck was given to them with these you know maybe they got flipped a few of these at the end of the week you know a couple silver dollars a couple Morgan silver dollars is so cool um, again this is something that I do not have in my stack this is something that I very much want in my stack so one of you lucky winners is gonna get that as well and that is so cool I'm excited for you guys I hope that I hope that someone wins this and really appreciates it and maybe it sort of kickstarts a little something for you where you guys get into silver. And if you do, and this is something that becomes a nice little pastime for you, maybe a hobby for you and your kids, please come back and tell me because I have had a number of you guys tell me that you've started to collect silver and you're buying it up uh, and you're very excited about it. And I think that is so cool. You know, Craig gave me this gift of the silver bug and I am re-gifting it to you guys and I hope you enjoy it as much as uh, me and, and my family do. Okay guys, now this is the piece that uh, Mr. Zeke, now Mr. Zeke took a square Geiger bar, a one ounce uh, Geiger bar that I threw in there and this the Geiger bar is beautiful. If you guys did not get a chance to go look at it, go look at it. Uh, if I had to line all four of the coins up that I sent out to everyone, I, that Geiger bar has got to be the most beautiful thing that I sent. Uh, even more beautiful than that gold. And AU Digger, I know you're falling off your seat right now thinking more beautiful than gold, but very, very classy looking bar, guys. And so what Mr. Zeke threw in, uh, in, in trade for that was this, um, this one ounce round. Now it's not, it's not, it's not quite one ounce. It's more than one ounce, and he'll explain it to you guys over there. So, so these coins, this coin, is nine 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 silver. That's how pure it is. This coin is nine two five silver. That's sterling silver. That's going to be what a lot of your jewelry is is sterling silver. Um, but it weighs more. So this thing is thirty three point six two five grams of silver and then I believe these guys wind up coming out to 31.1 I believe so you are getting one ounce of silver but this coin is heavier than an ounce that's how they did it so this is pretty cool and in this um, what this is on top of it is a coin press it's an old coin press so you can see that there very cool, and then on the back, um, yep, I got it. I got it right. There you go. And then on the back, it's got the little scales for weighing. You know, you always saw Scrooge McDuck weighing his all his coins on his scale, and he was just playing around with them. And that's all we're doing too. So that's cool, guys. That is um, that's going in the stack. I I really appreciate that. That's super cool. Uh, I think normally I'd look at something like that and probably look right past it because I wouldn't know what I'm looking at. So it's very cool that Mr. Zeke explains it and then sends it. it so it's I really appreciate it. All right, guys, so moving along, we're heading off to the next one now, and it is going to be from Craig over at You Can Do It. We're going to bust open his box. All right, now guys, if you don't remember, Craig sent a little mystery item, and that's pretty cool. I'm uh, I'm pretty excited to see what's in that thing. We're gonna save it for last. We'll save the best for last. Although I'm not sure how it's gonna beat this because this is pretty cool, guys. This is a Pamp one ounce silver bar. Now this is my first bar. I do not own any bars at all, uh, and he sends me this fancy pants bar. Now this thing is serial numbered. It's untouched by dirty hands. There it is. Don't be copying my serial number. This is a PAMP one ounce Lady 
Fortuna. And if I'm not mistaken, and I should probably do my research before I even say anything to you guys, uh, but I believe that was the name of a ship. That's like 50-50% knowledge right there. That's There's a good chance that's complete BS, but it doesn't matter. You guys look it up, let me know. Otherwise, just believe what I said. I believe it was the name of a ship that went down with holding a bunch of silver. Could be totally wrong. Guys, this is super cool. Uh, so clean. Uh, absolutely beautiful bar. This is fun to have. So now, guys, uh, what happened basically with Craig is that uh, he sends me stuff and it just sort of turns my world upside down. Um, and then I got to start changing my life. And so what happened was is Craig sent us two half ounce rounds and it began all of this. All of this it started all this so guys he added this to our channel every silver thing we do on this channel every giveaway you guys watch every prize you win uh, that contains silver is because I met Craig so that's that's pretty cool it's a pretty crazy thing um, so this is beautiful and like I said uh, keeping in typical Craig tradition he gives me something I do not have which means I'll probably start adding to it so I guess now I get into bars. I went from just generics to bars. But that's not it, guys. Uh, <clears throat> Craig sent this thing. Now when he was when he was showing it um, in his video, my first thought was, how am I supposed to pronounce that? Thanks a lot, Craig. All right, we're gonna try it right now. Here we go. A Z Singalis. Z Singalis. Zeisingalis. I don't know, guys, but that's pretty cool. This is an absolutely beautiful coin. It looks like it has. Um, oh, that is cool. It's got a hologram in that circle, and it says nine nine nine. And then when you move it, at least when I move it upside down, I can see that it says AG. So it's saying 999 silver in a hologram. Wow, that is cool. And it says one clay. So uh, apparently they deal in clay. Republic of Korea. Good, perfect. 2017 fine silver. You guys can look in that little circle down at the bottom. I'll see if I can't get it to change, but it says 999. And then when you tip it, it says AG. I hope you guys can see that. That's a really cool. Okay, guys, so again, Craig sends me some fancy pants silver inside of a airtight, inside of what looks to be some sort of foam rubber thing. So obviously this is a really nice coin. This is not the kind of coin that I, I, I collect. Um, this is not the coin I, I, I like to stack necessarily. Now, here's the messed up thing about it, is I can look at this and appreciate the craftsmanship. I can appreciate the style, the design. I love how clean it is. I love the look of it. The silver actually almost looks like a polished marble. Um, very cool. Super cool coin. But this is the, this is what I'm talking about, guys. Now I'm gonna walk through and I'm like, oh, there's the 2018 Z Singalis. I better get that. It goes with my new my new stack. C Craig, thanks a lot, man. In all seriousness, though, guys, I really appreciate it. That's an absolute beautiful coin. So, um, man, thank you. Very cool. Now, guys, if you remember Craig, let's see, Craig got, oh, he got the one ounce poured bar. Um, oh, I forget what it was. So Craig got the one ounce poured bar. That's what he wanted. It was just a poured uh, piece of silver, kind of rough looking, uh, but that's what he wanted. He got that poured bar. Now, I also sent um, a half gram of... Uh, gold as well um, and I had called him and told him I said hey man if you want that gold keep it 
don't feel like you can't because it's just going to come back to me and I already bought it. It doesn't matter. So if, if you if you do want it, keep it. And so he said, yeah, you know what? I might do that. I've got a, I've got a uh, 500 subscriber giveaway coming up soon and I might use that. And I'm like, 500 subscribers, you're giving away gold? That's pretty rad. Uh, so you guys get over there and get yourself some gold. Pretty cool gift. Uh, very, very cool. Anyway, so that's what he gave me in return for those two, and that is pretty cool. Now, I don't know what this is here. Uh, I don't know what it is. So, look at He's getting fancy. He's getting his own cards made up, guys. He's got his own stationery. All right, so we're going to get into this thing, try to feel what it is so we don't cut it. Oh, there we go. There's an end. Use our hillbilly knife to get into that thing and see what we got. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Plata and Plomo put together, guys. Check this thing out. That's a 45 shell if I've ever seen one. That is a one ounce piece of silver. <laughs> yeah. Get you some of that. 45 shell, guys. Got the Plata, got the Plomo. That is so cool. That is like a little mascot of our new series, guys. That is awesome. That is just, it's so funny too because it looks little, but it's its kind of heavy. Heavy to the touch, guys. That is a, that's a bullet. Very cool. YouTube, it's a fake bullet, okay? So don't, don't take my channel down. Very cool. Craig, that is so cool, man. Guys, so he did it again. Now he's giving me poured bullets. Clearly, I got to be able to fill a mag now. So, uh, oh, and I don't own a 45, so I might have to talk Shelby into letting me buy a 45 just so I can have the magazine of the 45 to fill up uh, my lead and my silver combined in one. That is so cool. Okay, so three of you guys are going to do well for yourselves. At least one of you guys gets to play in some dirt. And that's super cool. You got to go earn it. That is so funny. Uh, go pan you out some gold. Very cool. Now, guys, like I told you in the beginning, um, I still have to come up with something to give you guys, something that um, is a prize from me. I told you guys it'd be a one ounce coin. Uh, and I recently came across some stuff while, uh, while in my travels to the local coin shop. Um, and I came across some coins, and uh, I said that's going to be perfect. I'm, I'm putting that in there. It's going in the boomerang box winner, and uh, and I hope you guys like it. I'm going to explain it to you. I'm going to show you what I got. But it's uh, it kind of plays off of Mr. Zeke's coin that he hooked you guys up with. Now, Mr. Zeke hooked you guys up with a one-ounce Morgan silver dollar. Now, what I got was a one ounce Morgan silver round. Now, what this is, guys, it's that 999 fine, it's that good stuff. Um, but this is the base of my silver stacking, guys. This is a generic round. This round I got at my local coin shop for 79 cents over spot. That is what one of the coin shops around here charges for their generic rounds. This, this is what I'm into. This is the stuff that I hunt for. This is the stuff that I try to purchase. When I'm watching the spot price and it goes down, these are what I'm thinking of grabbing. Um, th this to me just makes the most sense and I really enjoy it. I love getting the most bang for my buck when I go to the coin shop. If I can walk out with Six coins versus two coins. Six coins just seems like a better deal to me. So uh, this is what I've got for you guys. It's a one ounce silver round, and it's got the you know Miss Morgan. I assume her name is Mrs. Ms. Not sure if she's a taken lady. Um, boy, this one's a little bit prettier. She's looking lean and mean in her youth. Here, she looks like she looks like she's putting on a couple pounds. I'd say she put on about an ounce. 
So here's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna make it really fun. We're gonna go first, second, um, first, second, and third place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my coin to Craig's coin. So first place, guys, my battery died. Had to go charge it, so we're back. We're making this thing happen. I swear it has taken me like over an hour to even film this thing, it's ridiculous. But we're back, guys. We're going over it. So you guys saw first place. First place prize looking good. We'll go second place. Second place is going to have quantity. Second place gets a bunch of cool stuff. Okay? So, guys, your second place winner is going to get the Morgan Silver Dollar. You're going to get the three... 90% silver half dollars of the different varieties. You're going to get the two 90% silver quarters, the five 90% silver dimes, the one I think 90% silver nickel. Very cool. And the spyglass, the monocle. You guys will get you a little pocket loop as well. So that is number two. And winner number three is going to get the one tenth ounce mercury. I don't think it's a dime, although it's supposed to be a dime. A tenth ounce mercury, we'll just call it that. One tenth ounce silver mercury and Tom's gold dirt. Guys, who knows how much is in here? This could actually be the first place prize. Maybe you're a rich man after this. If you want, I could check it for you before I send it out. Just let me know. So there it is, guys. First place, second place, third place. Now, here come the directions, guys. And also, I hope you watch this video till the very end because here comes your last number to put in to the code. Your last number is seven. We started with a seven. We're ending with a seven. Guys, I hope you have all the numbers in between. I hope you guys subscribed. I hope you guys commented because that was in the uh, that was in the rules. And uh, I'm not sure all of you guys did it. I hope you did. I really hope you did. I hate for you to lose out on any of this because you didn't just leave a little comment as well as subscribing to those channels. But that's your only reminder, guys. You're going to have about 24 hours after watching this video before I go down and pick some winners. And... I hope you watch the whole video because you're going to need that last number in it. Guys, here's what you do, okay? I want you to go down in the comments, and if you have the code, I want you to say, I cracked the code. Do not put in the code, okay? Do not give the answer to someone who just showed up at the end and is going to put in the answer because you did all the legwork for them. Don't win it for them, guys, okay? What's going to happen is, is I'm going to draw three random names, and then... You guys are going to, at that point, email me the code. And I'll see if you guys have the right code. And if you have the right code, you win the prize. And if you don't have the right code, I will go back and I will draw again. And then you will have to, oh, we'll pick a new winner. So that's it, guys. Do not give me the code until I ask for it. Keep it secret. That is your secret code. And there it is, guys. There is the boomerang box. It is done. It took a couple weeks to complete. I had so much fun doing it. I hope you guys had fun watching it. If you guys do, in fact, want to see another boomerang box with some other channels, let me know in the comments. If you guys enjoyed this, let me know in the comments. If you guys are a channel and you guys would like to interact with our channel and you guys would like to be a part of the boomerang box as well, uh, let me know. You can either send me an email or you can message me here with your email in the comments. That's fine too. Either way, you guys let me know if you would like to be a part of it. It was kind of hard getting people to be a part of it the first time. I'm betting that after the second time, seeing the way that it goes, uh, seeing the fun that it had, seeing the interest it generated, um, I'm betting that it's going to be pretty easy to get someone to jump into the next one. And uh and hopefully it's just as exciting. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the thumbs up on this video. If we get a bunch of thumbs up, we'll do another boomerang box. So guys, thank you for watching again. And make sure you follow the rules to this thing. We'll see you on the next one.